Hello everybody, my name is Patrick, I'm a drone engineer at Arc Electronics in Salt Lake City, Utah. This is a follow-up video. Previously I've shown you how to create your own custom mode in PX4 using Rostu and I utilize it from QGC in simulation. Today I would like to go a step further and show you how to use it on actual hardware and then also how to map this custom mode to your remote controller and then this actually like allows you to switched on and switched off pretty easily and I'm also going to do uh, like a fly demonstration with my colleague Nick at the end of the video so uh, please stick around if you haven't seen the previous video please watch it and then this is gonna be more meaningful and then let us begin so I'm going to use this drone for the fly demonstration at the end of the video just to give you like some quick details on the hardware so this is a DEF7 um, airframe uh, by Momentum Drones and then it got a bunch of uh, arc sensors on it. It also has uh, uh, NVIDIA Jetson Rin Nano with Jetpack 6 installed which is pretty nice since we can run uh, ROS2 natively in Ubuntu 22. Uh, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you're interested in these things just uh, click on the links below. So uh, I take into consideration that you have watched my previous tutorial so you're able to set up the custom mode package you have QGC daily build installed and then you can actually like recreate what I'm doing now so have a drone up and running then also have the remote control connected to the drone and then QGC daily build and then the package I provided this custom mode and the whole workspace cloned and then everything set up correctly one point here that I have to uh, mention that we need the same PX4 message definitions, which I didn't point out in the previous video. So please use the same PX4 version I, as I do. So you can just see that in the description on GitHub. Once we have uh, everything like prerequisites set up, we can just uh, go ahead, open QGC, uh, have more drone and the remote control connected to QGC, and then assign the custom mode to a remote controller to like a given switch on it. Let's see! Yeah, so once you have everything, so the package is cloned on the drone, or the workplace, workspace, uh, cloned on the drone, drone up and running, remote control, you can just go ahead and open QGC, we click, click on the QGAN control logo, we go to vehicle setup, and then here, if you haven't calibrated your radio transmitter with uh, QGC daily will please do so, then uh, you will have your switches uh, assigned to different flight modes, actions, uh, whatever. Then we go to the flight mode setup, and then in my case I have the classic like three position switch uh, up, middle, down here, uh, assigned to four different flight modes. Uh, usually this would be like manual position and um, offboard, but instead of offboard I'm going to use my custom mode. Uh, other important thing that you can have like multiple custom modes and you can assign it to like different uh, switches or like buttons on your uh, transmitter. So feel, please feel free to mess around with that. In my case I just selected like external mode 2. Uh, since I have like multiple external modes then I come back and then you see that the mode is not available. Well, I click around like position manual mode is not available why is it so because the node is not running on the drone yet so to do that and we need to SSH to like so I'm remotely connected to the drone I SSH to it and then once I'm here I need to navigate to the workspace and then source it and then run my uh, custom mode package important thing that the workspace is uh, has a different name here because I have some modifications you don't need to worry about it please just go ahead and then uh, clone the um, package or like the workspace I provided previously and please make sure that you have the same PX4 version on your drone as well once you uh, have that you can just uh, source it just to and then you can Just uh, rust to run the custom mode, and then uh, you can see that the connection has been established, and then custom mode shows up, and then uh, yeah, manual position custom mode. Uh, since you have this, it's pretty safe if you are outside and then uh, you wanna 
start this mode, something goes wrong, you can just switch back to manual position and it's very easy because you don't need to like mess with the terminal after it's up and running. Uh, so let's see how it goes in the real life. Just uh, go with, I'm just gonna go with Nick and then we are gonna do some uh, flight tests for you. So we are out flying with Nick here on a baseball alley, baseball diamond, diamond. baseball diamond, and so you can see that the node is uh, up and running. Once that's done, actually it's gonna show up as a custom mode, and then Nick has the RC. We mapped it as I showed it previously in the video, and then we can just take off, and then we are gonna see how it works in the real life. Yeah, I'm gonna take it off. There it seems good. Yeah. And we're gonna flip it. Yeah. Um, thank you for watching and I hope that you were able to learn something. If you have any questions, please let me know and I will do my best to answer or address all of them. And please uh, follow us uh, on the links below because I'm also planning on uh, doing some other tutorials using ROS in the upcoming future and also we have some pretty cool like, drone news uh, every week that you should check out. So thank you so much for checking in and then all the best. See ya!